St. Catharines is a tremendous asset to the Smithtown community. We bring the best of academic medicine to a very small environment so the patient is more comfortable, they don't feel overwhelmed, but yet they're getting the very best care there is. It's really nice to be a part of a community and to work and live in the same community and to see some of your patients when you're out and about. I love the people who work here with us. I love our patients. They're my neighbors. I see people in the local uh, stores who have been patients here. When you come, you will feel like you are being treated by your neighbors. You're not just a number. Sometimes at big universities, you feel like you're just lost in a number as a doctor there. And here, you really feel like you can make a difference and that it's home. My grandfather died of a hospital-acquired infection. I decided I wanted to make a difference, and I never wanted a family to have that experience where they would come to the hospital and uh, lose a loved one over something that was preventable. So St. Catherine of Siena provides care across all assets of uh, healthcare, including pediatrics, internal medicine, orthopedics, GI, OBGYN, uh, the full gamut, uh, and it's right in our backyard with excellent doctors, excellent facility. We offer a real variety of services that provide access to care right here in the middle of Smith Town. It starts with an ED that is capable of saving someone's life if they've had a heart attack because we can do angioplasty. We're an award-winning program and we've worked with the ambulance squads in the region to lessen the amount of time that it takes to communicate with the squads as they are on the way to the hospital. On July 6th, I had a cardiac incident on this immense outside my door. In less than a minute, someone responded to me, the ambulance and the fire department. And I was at St. Catharines in less than 15 minutes. Did an angiogram and then they went through and put six stents in me in a short period of time. And very few people survive, let alone thrive. So St. Catharines physicians, St. Catharines nursing team, St. Catharines ER team, cardiac unit, excellent. They gave me back my life. I always dreamt of being a surgeon. Um, it was sort of the romantic idea of treating people and correcting their problems with my hands. I absolutely love what I do. I have the privilege of seeing patients at their most vulnerable time, and I have the skills and technology surrounding me to take the very best care of them, and that satisfaction is what drives me every day. I love what I do. I love treating all sorts of diseases. Dealing with cancer patients is a privilege to work with them. As a female, it's really nice to be able to have other female come to you in a comfortable situation when dealing with uncomfortable topics. So I feel that we're very welcoming in our practice and we really welcome patients to come in and feel comfortable about topics that are not easy to talk about. Five or six years ago, I was on call. I was actually in Boston. I um, was called around 11 o'clock, 11.30 at night about a young boy, a five-year-old boy. Uh, unfortunately, he was in the back seat of a car. He was playing with the jump rope outside of the window. As horrific as you can imagine, um, the uh, jump rope actually got caught um, and uh, he amputated his hand. I uh, spent about 17 hours putting everything back in. You know, the will of this amazing little kid to bounce back from a horrific injury. It was really something, something special that I'll never forget. Taking care of women who are at their most vulnerable state and giving them the hope that they need to get through the like darkest days of their life and then seeing them smiling, happy, disease-free is an unbelievable experience. You know, we have neurosciences, we have orthopedic um, surgeries, we're a bariatric service center of excellence. Uh, we have a brand new facility here in Comac um, at 500 Comac Road where we've got a brand new MRI machine, CAT scanners, ultrasound. Our ability to make more difficult diagnoses, um, diagnose things more quickly has really been uh, enabled and helped by uh, technology. So it's really been a huge asset in terms of being able to deliver better care to our patients more effectively and more quickly. St. Catharines, we provide 3D mammography or tomosynthesis, which is the newest technology for mammograms. It is more sensitive and specific than the 2D mammograms. Many other facilities do not provide that yet. So in vascular surgery, for example, we have the latest in endovascular treatments where we can treat patients minimally invasively through small needles as opposed to making incisions. The majority of our patients, because of this technology, can leave right after their procedures and carry on with their lives. 
The newer modalities out there for patients with colorectal issues is going to be minimally invasive surgery. Using laparoscopic and robotic surgery for patients avoids big incisions, there's shorter hospital times, there's less medications that are needed to treat patients, they have a lot less pain, they're back to their usual activities sooner. So this is what we are striving for more and more is to do less invasive procedures to treat patients with complicated disorders with Catholic Health Services. We have six other hospitals in our system. If somebody requires something, we just can easily, seamlessly transfer the patient to one of our sister hospitals. And I think that that instills confidence in the staff, as well as the patients, that they feel confident that they can come here and get all of the services that they require. Uh, over the past uh, two years, performed uh, probably about a thousand procedures at uh, St. Catharines, and our infection rate, uh, personally at least, has been significantly under 1%, which from an orthopedic standpoint, actually, we have a, a pretty significantly low infection rate, especially in relation to uh, other surrounding hospitals. We're the first hospital, I believe, in Suffolk County that is considered a baby-friendly hospital. And um, the staff pushes into the patient's room and the staff takes care of the family. It's not compartmentalized anymore and um, it's really done as a, a really wonderful approach and I think that the patients leave St. Catharines feeling like they got the best experience that they could. Every time I think about my labor delivery nurse, I cry because <laughs> she was amazing. Carissa stayed in my room the entire time. You did have the option of having the baby in a nursery. I just chose to have her in the room with me the entire time. Choosing a smaller hospital or a bigger university hospital, that's a preference thing. For me, I looked at it the same way as a parent would look at a child being in a big classroom compared to a smaller classroom. The attention you'll get from a smaller facility is much more in depth and they know you. I just feel like you get more <laughs> of the warm and fuzzy feeling from a smaller facility than you would from a bigger one. And I think there's a growing perception that the place to get healthcare in Smithtown is St. Catharines. This is the rising star in the community and I'm just happy and humbled to be part of it. We are the hospital in the state that has the highest um, clinical outcomes for sepsis. You don't have to go 50 miles away. You don't have to travel so far away. You have a hospital right here in your community. It has outstanding scores, outstanding clinical outcomes. I'm just tired that we're like always called the best kept secret. We strive every day to provide care that is led by integrity, compassion, accountability, respect, and excellence. Turn your story into a Proud Town story.